the Costa del Sol, spanning 150 kilometers of the Malaga province, is renowned for being the quintessential Spanish destination with its sun, sea and sand. It embodies the essence of Spain, rich traditions, diverse landscapes and a laid-back way of life. While all of this holds true, the region is currently undergoing a profound transformation that is shaping the Costa del Sol into something new. In 2019, the Costa del Sol registered its best year ever regarding visitor figures. 2022 broke records in terms of revenues. In April 2023, the city of Marbella witnessed a remarkable surge in hotel room rates and occupancy, reaching an astounding 74.14%, achieving one of the great dreams in the world of tourism, the end of seasonality. Digital revolution that we have seen the last years where people have much more flexibility to, to work from home, work from anywhere really in the world, is benefiting the, the destination and is helping Marbella to reduce seasonality. You have a beautiful city with good weather to visit, with every restaurant opened, with every hotel operating. The winter in Marbella and Costa del Sol is fantastic. So it was like a, a secret before, you know, some people knew that. And I think more and more people are getting uh, to understand that there is more value during winter time. And when I came here more than 20 years ago, the pattern for the expats was that they arrived 15 September and they left again on the 1st of May back to their countries in the north. Uh, and then obviously there was an influx of people for the tourist season, but the other parts of the year it was relatively quiet. But today it's a totally changed area. This success has made the region an appealing investment destination for international investors looking for opportunities in the hotel sector. So Bow Club is owned by Quartiers Properties, which is a listed company on the stock market in Sweden. At Bow Club we offer luxury in a relaxed environment in a very unique setting, with rooms and bungalows spread over 23,000 square meters of garden. The garden is hugely important for our concept because it's really the lounge of, of the hotel. It's where people meet, where they spend most of their time. Throughout the garden of Bow Club, but also in the restaurant and in the common areas, we have art pieces from world famous and up and coming artists. Since Marbella has 320 days of sun per year, we have tried to emphasize most of our activities outside. That, in, that is why, for example, we have an outdoor gym. We do many of our classes for guests outside as well. The restaurant at Bow Club is super important because without a good restaurant, it will be very hard to have a good hotel. Our head chef, Diego Del Rio, who actually had the first Michelin star in Andalusia. The food is inspired by Diego's experience and knowledge, which is a lot based on the Andalusian kitchen, but with international influences. Bow Club is really a design hotel. We place a lot of value on the details in the room. And one proof of that is that we recently won the prize as best hotel interior design in Europe. Bo has a combination of rooms and bungalows. The bungalows are created to give an outdoor indoor living experience. It's not hard to fill the hotel if you charge less, but the key is really to be able to fill the hotel with a high ADR. And that is also something that after everything opened up after COVID, going through even in low season, we have been able to do at a very successful, in a very successful way. There is also a growing demand for accommodation in ultra luxury properties, as companies strive to cater for the needs of discerning travelers. I come from hotel business. I work for international hotel uh, chain for a long time, more than 
15 years. So after I left the, the hotel industry, I came to, to Marbella and I started managing one house as a vacation rental. And then it was there when I again connected to, to the luxury you know, and to, uh, to the service and the hospitality essence. And I saw the clients were really happy you know, with the experience and I saw a trend there. We do uh, provide hotel-like services in, in luxury villas. There are big houses with infinity views. The most similar product to a hotel, uh, we can call a villa resort. Inside the villa, you can have a, your own chef, massage. We have our, our own housekeeping department, yoga classes, and you can name it. We do organize uh, boat trips, helicopter trips to other cities, and you know local activities. So we really want uh, our clients to feel the. The destination, and that's what I think. You know, we have we, can, we have the chance to differentiate from other destinations, and us as a company. In 2022, Marbella surpassed 150,000 residents with approximately 51,000 of them being foreign residents, accounting for more than one-third of the total. This trend is not unique to Marbella, as it is observed across the Costa del Sol, with numbers steadily rising every day. There is a trend that, has been, uh, that we've been seeing for many years now um, that is not necessarily related to the pandemic. Um, and that comes from, from a, few, a few years before. Um, and it is two lines that start to cross. Uh, one is that world wealth uh, is uh, in younger and younger hands. That associated with the fact that we're younger until later. They are coming here not only to, uh, to holiday, they're also coming here to work because with the technolo technological development, it's possible today to do remote work. They are much more quality conscious. Ever since uh, COVID, people were more allowed to work from home. So more and more people want to have their home where the quality of life is the highest. Uh, in phase one, we had 30% of the buyers who said their intention is to move and live here full time. In phase two, which will be delivered in 2025, um, that number has jumped up to almost 60% entrepreneurs move here that we are building hubs of entrepreneurs and what is also very interesting is that the more this development goes on the more interesting Marbella will become for more people to move here. In particular in Malaga there is a big booming technological park and I do believe that we are seeing the first signs of maybe Europe's Silicon Valley starting here. We have the climate, we have all the facilities and now we also have a tax environment that is much more favorable. I'm going to give you an example of something that happened to clients of us. They used to have the main home in London and an apartment in Marbella. Then after the COVID, they decided, okay, I'm gonna move my main home to Marbella and then keep an apartment in London. This is exactly happening with people from Amsterdam, from Gothenburg, from uh, Nice, from many other uh, cities in Europe. It's like New York, you know, many people come from outside and then they embrace the city and they make the city uh, uh, their own city. And I think there are many clients who are building that uh, lifestyle uh, halo around Marbella, right? It's like uh, the land of uh, dreamers. Marbella has one of the, some of the best uh, private schools in, in Spain, international schools and Spanish schools. So of course that is something that also make it easier take the step and move here. Uh, and I've always felt very, very comfortable with the Spanish people and in particular the Andalusians are very open, they're very friendly. Most people from Northern Europe, they live for their work, 
while people in this region, they seem to just work enough so they can live. And that really feels in the, in, in the harmony of the people here, that everyone seems a little bit more happier. The, the biggest misconception here, I would say, is that people say you cannot work here, people are very slow. I know so many Spanish people and I have some Spanish employees and they are hard workers and uh, super easy to work with. Well, people think that Marbella is like when you are talking about London, London is not UK and uh, New York is not U United States and Marbella is not Spain, but Marbella is Spain and Marbella is Spanish and uh, you have an international crowd here, but you have a Spanish flair and Spanish feeling everywhere you go. It's not only about the luxury, the car, restaurant, boat, villas, but it has something else. Maybe it's about the people, about the culture. I think sport is good, you know, Costa del Sol obviously is, is uh, one of the best in, probably the best place in Europe for golf. What brought me here more than 20 years ago is, is the lifestyle. It's, it's, it's totally different from living in Scandinavia. It's the same for all the people that work with Siesta Homes. They are principally here because of the lifestyle that the Costa del Sol offers. I started out in 2010 um, when the financial and property crisis was more or less over. Principally, it was for development activities inside real estate. Today, we have a more 360 degree service palette. We have interior design. A division called Hospitality Management, which is all our rental and concierge services. The, the core activity of Siesta Homes uh, lies in the development and construction of new homes. We recently just finished a larger uh, townhouse project with 14 beautiful townhouses in the area of La Mairena. And today we are uh, in construction for a boutique development in La Cala uh, de Mijas. An integral part of our uh, services is that we manage resorts uh, with facilities. We were pioneering this when we launched the Aloha Hill Club at the end of 2012. And it is still a very important part of our DNA. Many other developers today do the same in terms of offering projects that has a gym and a spa, a restaurant, concierge services of reception and uh, we have done that with considerable success over the last 10 years. A substantial part of our success is the combination between what I would say Scandinavian efficiency in combination with the more relaxed way of doing things here in the south of Spain. The year 2022 will be remembered as one of the most busy periods in the history of the Costa del Sol property market. The combination of transitioning to hybrid working and the pursuit of a more harmonious work-life balance has firmly placed the Costa del Sol in the spotlight for individuals seeking a sun-kissed home. Since uh, 2019, we have seen a very steady uh, increase in the number of sales and the volume of sales that we've had and those sales have been uh, associated and connected also to a very very positive increase in the price per square meter which if we go back to 2019 up until now it has uh, seen an increase of almost 50 percent. 2021 was a great year then 2022 was like the top best all record year for us and many other colleagues that I know of 2023 has started slightly slower than 22 for us. There is more demand than supply, and uh, especially in the prime location like where we are now on the Golden Mile on the seafront. I just saw the latest statistics for June, and basically we are down almost 20% in terms of volume, but prices are up in the lower single digits. Reason there's not enough supply, but there is demand. My expectation is as long as we have this 
supply demand glut that prices will keep increasing but it's not going to be in the same pace as before but I see still steady uh, increases in prices over the coming years. Even the war of Ukraine has been uh, even speeding up and making the sound that some many countries of European uh, Eastern European countries are uh, part of the uh, diverse uh, uh, international clientele of Marbella. And our forecast for this year in terms of sales is of an increase of over 40% versus last year. We started now 2023 and uh, with even better records. So we are assuming that in the next few years, the demand here will continue to grow. 20 years ago, I came to Marbella as the marketing director of Engel & Volkers for Spain. And I fall in love with everything, with the brand, with Marbella. Engel & Volkers is since over 40 years world market leader in mid to up market properties known worldwide with over 1,000 locations. Throughout the Costa del Sol we have 13 offices open today. We are the biggest here on the Costa del Sol. We have six offices in the best location throughout Mavea offering uh, the largest uh, portfolio of uh, property in the mid to up market. The way that Engel & Volkers work is that we specialize in one area. That's why we need six offices or more, because each office concentrates in one area and each of our agents is specialized in a micro area. Consultants and uh, team assistants and marketing are trained by the Academy, International Academy of Engel and Folkers. People know Engel and Folkers. I guess that if you are looking for an upmarket house, Engel and Folkers will be the first address that you will talk to. You have the expectation, you know, that we work very professionally, that you can rely on our advice. One of our services is the development department, where we are working with the developers from day one and advise them on the clientele, what they want, on the trends. And we have now new Earth, which is also the only um, complex of apartments, of luxury apartments, that is building now on the Golden Mile. It's a boutique development of 28 apartments, uh, high luxury, uh, in walking distance to Punto Romano and the beach. We have the gallery, which is a gated community of 33 villas with all the services. They have a clubhouse with the most incredible gym that I ever saw and spa with indoor pool, with massage room, which they offer also all the concierge services and um, everything. So it's basically a dream life to live in the gallery. You have your own villa, gated community and all the services that you can dream of. The area has become a top destination for affluent individuals looking to invest in high-end real estate. In the autumn of last year, 23% of the country's listings, with a minimum price of 1 million euro, were located along the Costa del Sol. Furthermore, when considering homes priced over 3 million euro, this percentage rises to 36.8%. We consciously are specializing on the high-end luxury market of Marbella area in general. Properties above 2 million euros. Our medium price ticket last year was 4.5 million euros with the top sales in the range of 20-30 million euros. Uh, in Marbella you would be surprised but you can find very extravagant mansions. Some of the most sophisticated properties can be found in Soto Grande an exclusive resort just 30 minutes away from Marbella. A private gated community regarded as the pioneer in the development of luxury residential complexes. This year it's uh, Sotorande's 60th anniversary and 60 years ago uh, the founder who was a gentleman that was half American, half Filipino, Joseph McMicking, had a very unique vision of how uh, a destination like this should look like. And it was very family oriented, very wellness oriented, where there is a community that almost functions like a club, a club that is almost 
becoming an extensive family. One of the important things of, of why people come here is the fact that Sotorende has remained very low density. All the nature that has been here over the years that has been respected and kept. That is a crucial element of Soto Grande and that is one of the reasons why customers come here instead of going to other parts of the coast. Of course, uh, over a period of 60 years there is an evolution, um, but the truth is nowadays Soto Grande remains very true to those same values. What happened was from one golf courses, we now have five golf courses, all trying to keep within that same quality. Then came hotels, more recently the first five-star hotel in Soto Grande, the beach clubs, uh, the extension of that polo and the growth of that polo element to Soto Grande. La Reserva Club is the pinnacle of that lifestyle in Soto Grande. It is the last section of Soto Grande that is being developed. And as part of that development, we have invested in certain facilities that bring that lifestyle to this part of Soto Grande. There's a lot of things that we have to keep doing and adjusting and look into the future. But what we won't be doing is replicating necessarily what others are doing, because Soto Grande has its own personality. And that is what makes Soto Grande very unique, that we've kept truth to that personality over the last six decades, and that will continue into the future. Marbella and surrounding municipalities are going through a deep transformation, drawing in substantial investments in premium real estate projects and leisure facilities. As a result, the city has experienced remarkable economic growth. Hotels, real estate agencies, restaurants, architects, lawyers and interior designers are experiencing a surge in activity. Since uh, the beginning we were growing and uh, since many years, decades, uh, we have uh, become a leading uh, law firm, not just in Marbella, not just in Costa del Sol, but we can say in, in south of Spain in general, representing clients from pretty much every country of the world. Our law firm Manzanares Lawyers uh, was founded uh, by me on April uh, 1996 and uh, since uh, that moment uh, we were doing mainly two fields of the law, uh, property law uh, and uh, tax law. Uh, inevitably, property law has uh, one uh, wing, which is construction law, and, uh, and also the tax law generates as well services for accountancy and other fields. Our firm uh, is uh, formed by around uh, 70 uh, professionals. Uh, we, not all of them are lawyers, but there are some economists, and this is formed by assistants, uh, secretaries, and all uh, the staff uh, that is divided in different sections, property law, tax law, but also we have some civil uh, litigation lawyers. We have an immigration law department. We have accountancy department uh, too, and all the services related to uh, yeah, providing services to clients after they became owners of a property in Spain. I started as a developer with Palmeiras Property Development and uh, from that my interior design firm was established. I got a lot of requests from uh, private clients. Omeo Design is a complete bespoke interior architectural firm so we design all furniture, everything ourselves and we aim to produce everything locally. We want to support the local economy and also avoid unnecessary shipping. That's why we're trying to really focus on designing something that will last through our time. Our main market is um, high-end private residents. 
Uh, approximately 50% of our projects are developments for sale and the other 50% is private end clients. Uh, most of our projects is um, on the market for in between 5 and 15 million euros. We have a lot of focus on just the social areas, entertainment areas, and also clients want to be a little bit private. So what I'm usually do is I create secret spaces, uh, which is an area that you can't really see, and uh, but only the owner will know, okay, behind this wall we have a spa or maybe even a safe or whatever that they want to keep secret. Omeo's slogan is live with grace. With that, we doesn't, don't only mean that we want to create homes that are graceful, but also that the entire work process is executed with grace in all aspects. The idea primarily to open something here was because I wanted something for myself. But I had the idea that you know, co-working hadn't been done very well here. There was a couple of companies, but nothing of this type of quality with this type of feel. The services on offer at Centro House are primarily co-working, so you imagine like a WeWork, but the vision was to do something that was a little bit more like, if you can imagine Soho House meets uh, WeWork, it was that type of idea. Here you've got uh, individual offices and then you've got the typical hot desking work and then in addition to that you've got bedrooms as well. In terms of the offices there are uh, about 12 or 13 and there's a waiting list for those and then we've got about 100 hot desking spaces and I believe we've got about 100 members already. You've got an outside terrace area, you've got a pool, so it, it's almost a workspace meets private members club. If you're looking for something that's really different, a fantastic place to work where you can also relax and get a vibe that's uh, really quite, uh, you know, a buzzy vibe, then this is the place to be. The remarkable growth witnessed in recent times highlights the region's appeal as a premier destination for tourism and high-quality living, a trend that is expected to persist in the coming years.